look upset, Helen. What's wrong? I'm just not feeling great. Do you fancy something to eat? It might help lift your spirits. No, thanks. I'm actually full. How about coffee? Would you like me to order some? No, I have had four cups of coffee so far this morning. So, what's your mood like now? Nothing in particular, just not feeling my best. Tell me something. You're driving me crazy with the silence. The truth is, Judy has had her baby. It's a boy. How wonderful! That's great news! Yes, it is. She has invited a lot of guests for a celebration. Has she asked us to join? What are you telling me, Harry? I'm his aunt, of course, she has invited us to the party. I can guess what the problem is. Exactly. You've always been my brilliant guy. We should dress up for the occasion. How about trying the new dark pink suit? Hmm, that might not work with my colored hair. You know I've dyed it recently. Maybe we should go shopping for something more stylish and striking. Come on. This will be the fifth time you've bought me something to wear this month. You spend money like water, and I haven't saved much yet. You know, I haven't visited Judy's family since they got married. Plus, I want us to look good for the party. I have chosen the style and have found the store before. We can go there and buy it now. If you can get it without any money, buy it immediately. Don't cry, honey. You know I haven't received my salary yet, and I'm on a tight budget too. I couldn't save enough to buy a used car for months. I understand, but let's find something within our budget. We can go to the store I mentioned earlier, and if we can get it without spending much, then it's a deal. It's okay, love. Let me call Sam and ask him for some money. I still haven't paid him back from the last time I borrowed. That would be helpful. I've also heard about a great shop from one of my friends. They are having a sale now. Maybe we can find something affordable there. That sounds like an excellent idea. Let's go there and see what we can find.